Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about the VidCutter video editing software. And VidCutter has a unique ability that you can trim up video uh, without re-encoding. And there are some other pieces of software that can do this. It's not the only one, but um, like the big name software usually will re-encode. So this is compatible with uh, Mac, Windows, and Linux, and I don't know, maybe some others. Um, so if you go to Google and type in VidCutter, I like to go down here to the GitHub link. If I click on that, and then you just scroll down, and you'll see this Windows plus Mac users latest release. You click on that, and then scroll down some more. And then at the bottom of the page here, you can see the uh, Win32, Win64. So most people are going to want Win64 if you're on Windows. On a Mac, you're going to want to use this Mac OS a DMG. So I've already downloaded it, so I'll open it up. So what I want to do here is I'm going to take a video and I'm going to cut a uh, part of it out. So I'll click on Open Media, and I did this screen recording. And for sake of argument, let's assume I want to only use the last half of it. So I want to take my pointer here, I want to move it, say, halfway between, and I want to click Start Clip, and then I want to move it to the end, and hit End Clip. So then we'll click Save Media. I'll choose my desktop. It doesn't appear to be letting me change the name here, so I'll just hit save with this name. It says your media file is ready. So this is incredibly fast because it mostly just has to copy it. It's not doing any re-encoding. So if I open up this, I have the last half of the video, and it's the same quality as the original, it's just shorter. So say you had some security camera footage that was a, an hour long and you wanted like 30 seconds of that, you could use VidCutter to cut out that 30 seconds and you're not re-encoding it. So then you have a good um, you know, quality image there. So I previously used to use MPEG Stream Clip to, to do the same thing, but it is no longer compatible with uh, Max because it's not 64-bit. So here I'll show a sample of taking two parts of the video. So I'll click this and I'll hit remove. So I'll put the playhead here, I'll say start clip, go to the end, say end clip, I'll move somewhere else, I'll say start clip, again, end clip, start clip, end clip. So I've pulled out these sections. I'll hit save media, go to my desktop here, I'll hit save again. It says it already exists, you want to replace it, I'll click replace, and it's done. And here we have the new file. So these are the three different clips put together. So it's very fast. So I think VidCutter is a good tool to keep in your arsenal for uh, paring down large video, um, especially if you have a really long clip and you only need a short portion of it and you don't want to re-encode. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.